Hello everybody, uh, this is Ravinia Pseudoacacia of the Fabaceae, Fabaceae being the pea, bean, or legume family. Uh, and this is black locust, yellow locust, or just locust in terms of common names. The specific epithet, Pseudoacacia, means false acacia. Uh, and there's a few ways to identify this tree. So notely, the leaves are pinnately compound, and we'll get into these terms uh, as we get into the lectures with Dr. Jeffries, but pinnately compound means that each of these leaflets belong to one larger leaf. And the pinnate refers to how they are spaced along the stem of the leaf known as the rachis. So this is a pretty distinct leaf. They're almost perfect uh, oval shaped, the leaflets. Um, at the base of each leaf, you'll find two stipules, uh, or stipular spines, excuse me. Uh, and those are always in pairs. If you were looking at the bark, it's pretty distinct. Um, even from a young age, it tends to have deep fissures and furrows. And to me, it almost looks like it's braided. It forms a kind of crisscross, criss uh, ropey pattern almost. Uh, it tends to stay a light brown or a golden brown in color. Um, you really won't see it get too large, but that bark is pretty distinct when you start to get an eye for it. And I'll have an image up for you as well. Um, let me see. The fruit, so it starts to flower in early summer. We're looking at about May. Uh, here in North Carolina, the flowers are very beautiful white flowers that kind of hang from the tree. Uh, and they develop into legumes, which is a fruit that splits along two seams at the edges. Um, and those are about four inches long at maturity, and they form right about now. They start developing earlier in the summer, and they become more mature towards the end of uh, summer and early fall. Um, so those, they're brown at maturity. They have a rounded top and a bottom, which is important when we start to look at other species that also have legumes as their fruit. So information that you'll find on the sheet, I've already gone over the nomenclature and the family that it belongs to. Um, this species is naturalized from the mountains, meaning it's kind of originally from the mountains, uh, at least in North Carolina, and its prolific way of spreading seed and reproducing has allowed it to spread further and further uh, towards the coast. This species is incredibly important because of its ability to phytoremediate the land. Uh, it's a very, it's kind of a way to rejuvenate the soil, especially on sites like mine spoil banks, where the site has become so degraded over time, and this being a nitrogen fixer is a good way to rejuvenate the soil and make it more promoting for plant growth. And this has been Black Locust, Rubinia pseudoacacia of the Fabaceae.